All right, everybody, welcome back to the world's worst fishing. I'm Chris Jones, and uh, we have an exciting video for you today. I have in my possession the Marlin Baits Poison Dart Frog Mold. And uh, I went ahead and just poured a clear one earlier just to uh, just to see what it looks like and to get a feel for it. And uh, I'm really excited. I have a couple of colors picked out in my head to try to do, um, to try to make this a really special looking bait. The weather is really crappy today. Um, we've had several storms come through, so I'm not sure I'm going to get to take it fishing today, but I will take it fishing before I post this video. Um, I'm not going to post a video without putting this thing in the water. Um, but I have it in my possession, and uh, this is an incredible bait. It's an incredible mold. He did such a good job. As you know, he always does. If you have not seen Marling Baits, which I don't see how you wouldn't, check him out. Uh, that's M-A-R-L-I-N-G Baits, YouTube channel name. And uh, he makes some of the coolest stuff I've ever seen, bar none, hands down. And uh, I'm very honored and privileged to be able to uh, kind of work with him on a collab video. Um, so if you have not seen his video, he did a video called Making Poison Dark, Poison Dark Frogs. And it features this mold right here. And, uh, and how he fashioned this out of wood and then poured the mold. So without further ado, we're gonna try to make some cool colors for you guys and uh, hope you'll enjoy the video. All right, so we have a few different things uh, already kind of measured out here and mixed up. Um, I didn't wanna show all the prep work steps because we're gonna try to make several different colors and uh, it's just, it's gonna be a long video as it is already. So I have the um, kind of the dual cup here. The uh, let's see, what's this thing called? I think it's called the. I should know what this is called, but this is the Stank X Baits um, kind of dual Pyrex pouring cup. Um, it's really bad that I can't remember the actual name of it, but it allows you to simultaneously pour two different colors at once um, into a hand pour mold. Um, so this is a, a, a ah, it's called a divider cup. This is a really great hand pouring tool. And then I have some red and blue pearl mixed up here. Um, and that, we're gonna attempt to make this little guy right here. So you see kind of a, a red orange body with some little blue dots and then blue legs. So that's what we're gonna do with this one. And then this one, we're gonna kinda do like a orange and black swirl. Um, a lot of these poison dart frogs have a lot of bright colors in them, oranges and blacks. So this one you can see has some orange and black with some really, really cool legs. Um, so we're gonna just kind of experiment around with some colors. Um, yeah, and wish me luck. All right, so here goes nothing. I'm gonna attempt to pour just these blue legs. It's gonna be real messy, but then what we're gonna do, I'm sure some will spill into the bait cavity, but we'll kind of trim that up and, um, and then we'll pour the red body after the fact, so. We're just going to kind of get these legs started here. Okay. Legs and the feet. Okay, looking okay so far. Just going to kind of let that sit and see what happens. Oop. Start on this side. Let's try to fill it in best that we can. Okay. Alright, so I have some of this blue that's just kind of sitting down here in the cavity so we're just going to kind of very carefully just kind of cut that out all right and kind of let that seat back in there all right and then we're going to pour the orange red body cavity and that will kind of fill into those legs a little bit i'm sure i'll kind of try and angle it just a smidge okay taking it nice and slow yeah, see how those feet are kind of filling in where the legs might be a little um, underdeveloped in the back. Just going to kind of hit these legs with a heat gun and that will kind of really make sure that that red kind of really locks into those blue feet and that we get a good bond. Alright, we're going to carefully start taking this out. It should be set up enough to where I can take it out without ruining it. So we're going to kind of get the legs started 
and we're gonna get the body started and just kind of meet in the middle because that's your danger zone perfect okay there we go we're gonna go ahead and put that in the bath yeah there's frog number one we're gonna let that set up for a while you can see it's floating all right so I went ahead and made two just to uh, have two chances <laughs> of catching one on that color so there they are right there and then uh, we're gonna go ahead and start on the next color okay try to get some kind of little swirlies going here and the feet are going to be kind of sloppy because this cup is a little uh, this cup's a little larger so it's harder to pour it in a smaller confined area but that may work out all right you can see we've just kind of got a, a random mess of black and orange swirl together and that's kind of what I wanted it to do. Um, just to see if I could make something cool with the divider cup. I really wanted to use this. And uh, so I just took two really different contrasting colors that seem to be um, quite common in uh, <clears throat> exotic frogs. So, uh, you know, once we put some eyes on that, I think it'll be looking pretty good. So um, a good way to determine when your hand pour is ready to come out of the mold is if you can flip it and you see that little bulge see how it's kind of the plastic is still bulging when you can turn it um, vertical and you don't see a bulge then you're ready um, so we are really close it's just barely kind of bulging up when I flip it um, so I'd say we're about two minutes away from seeing what this one looks like all right here we go gently start removing this one start with the feet okay Okay, looking good there. Now we'll just kind of kind of peel that body cavity apart and kind of slowly take this out. All right, to the bath. Yeah, look at that. I got lucky, and uh, I got a mostly black body. <laughs> you never know kind of what you're going to get with the divider cup sometimes, and uh, that turned out cool. I, I did not plan that. I, I figured the body would kind of look more, yeah, I figured the body, the top would look more like that. But I guess the black hit first, and uh, I actually really like that. Look at the face. That, oh, I'm going to have to make some more of those uh, off camera for myself. All right, next up we're doing another two color. Um, so I'm going to do some like turquoisey legs, so to speak. If I can get this to pour. Yeah, so turquoise legs. And what this is, is this is a blue pigment mixed with white pearl. Kind of gives it that light blue turquoise look. And I mixed this one up off camera. Just I'm trying not to make this video too long because we st we're still going to make one more color after this. And we need to take it fishing. So uh, there's, there's a lot to do with this one. But uh, yeah, we're going to have to angle that and then... <clears throat> fill it back in just like the uh, orange and blue frog over there the gator gator color frog all right and here's kind of like a light orange this is not near as thick um, as the orange that we did on the orange and black frog just now um, so lots of orange today but the next color does not have orange so we will deviate slightly from the orange but uh, yeah you can hear some thunder rumbling off in the background so anyway, that's, um, that's how that one's going to look. And then, like I said, I'm going to kind of do some black tiger stripes on this one. And uh, hopefully that'll look pretty sick. All right. Got a thunderstorm breathing down my neck here. But that's all right. We're still frogging away. Okay. Get that one out. Get... Come on, baby. There we go. going to kind of said try to get the body started yeah body's still feeling a little gooey it's okay should be all right okay boom 
All right. So there we have it. Yeah, that'll look good with some black kind of vertical stripes up and down the body, I think. All right, and finally, a solid color. So this is um, hot pink mixed with a very, very small amount of white pearl, um, which kind of gives it a little bit lighter pink color, and you can, it's just something that, like, if you see it in person, you can tell that it's a little off pink, which I kind of prefer for doing a solid color like this. But this one's going to get black spots. Um, so I think that'll look kind of neat. Okay. It's nice being able just to fill this one in and not have to worry about it. <laughs> Alright, that's probably about as clean as that one can be poured. It is very intricate, but uh, I think we got that one pretty good. So, always a good thing whenever you, uh, whenever you pour plastics in a garage with the garage door open and it's raining. Alright, for our next trick, uh, <laughs> not really a trick. Um, so, um, if you've seen uh, Marling's video, he did a really cool technique where you kind of pour one color in little splotches, little dots. You kind of let those set up a little bit, and then you pour a main color over it. And uh, I really like the way that he did that. Um, you can do that. Um, that's more of a hand pour thing. There's really... You can do it in injection, like if you open up the injection mold, you can pour a little splotch and then close the mold and inject over it. Um, but it's more common in hand pouring. Um, it's a really great technique to use, especially if you're using a mold that's pretty wide like that. You know, that's almost an inch across or right roundabout. And so that kind of allows you some space to work. And um, I actually want to let this cool off a little more before I do it. Um, because you want it to set up quickly that way it doesn't run together too much you just pour a little dab right it's kind of at random yeah there's a little bit just like that leave it you know and kind of leave the mold tilted we'll do another one up here maybe a little bit larger splotch okay all right we're gonna let that sit you can see we just kind of have these little random splotches all right, so now we're gonna pour one over here. There. So there's what we kind of have. We're gonna shoot for one on this edge here. See if we can see if we can get that. That may not work. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Got one on that edge. As you can see I'm having to really kind of hold it in place. All right. And that's why you know I kind of wanted to pour this plastic you know a little colder. Um, so that these splotches would stay in place if that makes any sense whatsoever Okay, we have our green smoking hot. It's about 370 degrees All right, we're just gonna slowly pour that in Looking good Hit the legs and the feet Yeah, we're really doing some cool fun colors today y'all uh, I'm very excited about the about the uh, idea of, of getting to do a video with Nate Marling. He is just a master of his craft and uh, one of the most successful YouTubers in fishing. So uh, it's quite an honor, but we're going to let that set. See what we get. All right. Last but not least, we have the green and black splotchy frog. And we'll just kind of hope for the best. Okay. Come on, baby. Get it in the bath. Yeah. Looky, looky, looky. Yep. Pretty cool. Got us a nice bit of splotches, even in the feet, just a little bit, <clears throat> and then the legs. I think that's going to look really good. All right, and uh, real quick, I'm just going to put some black kind of little splotches on this bait. Just some kind of little circles. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to... Pink with black spots seems to be real common in these uh, poison frogs and everything. I uh, Nate already went over all the fun facts on the poison frogs, so I will not try to give you any fun facts because I don't know any. But the only fun fact I have is that I'm having a lot of fun making these. So yeah, we're just gonna 
randomly give this old gal some some black spots just kind of here there and everywhere and this is black mica powder mixed with black pigment the same pigment that you would use in your baits it's not really paint although I guess you could say it's homemade paint maybe don't, don't really know if you could call it that but you know this is just kind of a real simple pattern color idea just pink with black spots doesn't get any more basic than this as far as you know hand painting a bait is concerned but I think it's pretty cool we'll do like a little in there and maybe a few right up to the legs because I'm I'm not I don't want to clear dip the feet necessarily so we'll just kind of maybe end our spotting there but you know maybe one or two up on the face and the nose and one down here on the edge just try to get it looking looking as uh, authentic as we can okay and just real quick I, I can't show you all of the process because this video will just take way too long but this one we're just gonna give him some some black stripes I'm not exactly sure what sort of striped pattern I need but that's kind of the idea that I'm going for on this one is is kind of some black stripes and I'll have to make them uneven to make them look more natural because nothing is straight necessarily in nature so you know over here probably curve a stripe or two yeah so anyway that's kind of what we're doing with this one all right and next up we have these uh, these two kind of orange and blue ones gator colors and these are gonna get blue spots uh, because the picture that I had I don't know my oh my phone's inside but the picture I had they had little blue spots on them so we're just gonna kind of do little dabs little blue spots on this one very 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 small and that that will just kind of match the body or excuse me match the legs okay yeah so just dotting here okay yeah do a couple on the sides again very simple idea here this is blue pigment mixed with blue mica powder all right yeah and there you have it and just real quick gonna hit them with a, a light heat gun that will kind of set some of that pigment in never a bad idea to try to set your powder and pigments into the bait using heat just don't want to get it too hot all right eyeball time I'm just gonna show you this one right here all right so just a dab of instant bond glue that didn't look too clean but that's okay then since this is a black and green frog we're doing black and green eyes so yeah make sure that that's on there right yeah looking good got the eye facing forward sort of kind of close to what I wanted <laughs> not bad close perfect yeah so there's a completed poison dart frog very nice all right looks like they are all done we just have one more step we're gonna clear dip a few of these I might go ahead and dip all of them just because but I think that's a pretty good spread of frogs what do you guys think all right time to do a little dipping <clears throat> so see what we can do froggy number one yep in the dip okay let it kind of drip that way we don't have too much build up over the nose yeah looking good and then all right let me change angle the camera maybe up a little more then we'll kind of clip that nose all right 
going in the bath. All right, there they are, finished. I actually dipped all of them. I just figured, well, they've, they've got these eyeballs on, so a clear dip won't hurt. Um, so yeah, you can just see um, all the bright colors. And uh, yeah, this is one cool mold, guys. That is about as cool as frogs get. So I've got a couple hours left this afternoon. I don't know if I'll be able to take them out today, but I definitely will get these in the water soon and we'll try to get us a fish on them. Tell you what guys, I am frogged out for the moment, but can't wait to get them in the water. All right, we're down here at some pond I've never been to. Got our frogs right here, about to rig one up. And we'll see if we can catch one. All right, there it is. Got it rigged up on a frog hook. See the point, oh, see the point coming out the top. And let's see if we can get one. Well, the first pond really sucked. And I know there's bass in it because I saw a couple beds, uh, you know, left over from the spawn this year. So we're gonna go on to the next little hole and see if we can get one there. Well, we struck out, rain starting to pick up, and got to get home. It is a weeknight, and uh, I actually had one hit the frog, uh, busted it in some lily pads. Um, it was at this last spot that I just hit. I don't think the hit, I don't think you can see the actual bite <coughs> on film. Kind of, there were some shrubs and brush kind of around the bank that probably um, was obstructing view. So there is a bass in Tallahassee that wants to bite a poison dart frog. I just didn't get him, so big time fail on my part. And, uh, and then I got run out of one spot. So looks like I gotta call this one a day. I'm a little disappointed that I didn't, <coughs> sorry. I've uh, had some bad allergies and a cold. A little disappointed that I didn't get one on camera for you guys. I definitely will catch a bass on this frog at some point and be on the lookout for a picture when I do. I will definitely be putting that one up on the Instagram, but um, really cool bait. I tried to film some footage of it in the water so that you could see the action, but it just doesn't, it wasn't really coming out <coughs> um, when I, you know, kind of did the little playback. So um, check out check out Nate Marling's video uh, if you want to see the frog in action and an actual fish catch. Uh, he did way better than me, so um, anyway, Thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry we didn't get one. Better luck next time, I guess. And uh, we'll see you next time.